The 10 essential public health services were designed to ensure the success of any public health project while promoting and ensuring the health of all involved. The 10 essential public health services can be used to address any number of public health concerns within a community. All 10 services are under the fundamentals of assessment, policy development, and assurance. These services describe the actions that all communities should take to ensure public health in their community. The Healthy People 2020 initiative outlines nationwide health problems and works to increase awareness about health, disease, disability, and all their confounding factors. Healthy People 2020 provides goals and initiatives that utilize many different sectors to guide the improvement and research needed to make the nation a healthier place. Access to health services is one aspect of the Healthy People 2020 initiative. The high cost of healthcare and low rates of insured citizens relates to this initiative and can be used to illustrate the work of each service. The first essential service is to monitor the health of a community. It is imperative to keep an eye on a population's well-being. This way, medical workers can know basic health statuses and can be better informed of what these communities need in terms of health services. If we monitor communities more closely, we will notice that not all communities are filled with residents who make enough money to afford said health services. According to the Census Bureau, those without health care insurance rose in 2018 to about 27.5 million Americans lacking coverage, a majority of those citizens in poverty. The second essential service is to diagnose and investigate. Apart from monitoring the health of a community, it is also important to diagnose and investigate health issues that might arise. Investigating an issue includes gathering data on those most affected by the problem. In this case, adults aged 18 to 64 who are uninsured and poor health and who have lower income are those more likely to lack access to health care. For example, they put off going to the doctor because they are worried about the cost of affording health services and or are currently paying off other medical expenses. These barriers are large factors contributing to their poor health. The third essential service is to inform, educate, and empower the targeted community. In order to inform, educate, and empower people about the access to health services and their community, it is imperative that resources are allocated to provide information. This information can be distributed through educational materials, public service announcements, and reliable health network coverage. For example, distributing educational resources to schools and community centers is an effective way to inform its citizens. Resources detailing how to find a health provider and insurance coverage similar to the pictured document make the process more simple and straightforward for those lacking proper knowledge on the subject. The fourth service is mobilizing community partnerships and actions to identify and solve health problems. When officials and the community decide to take action after noticing the issues with health care, they can create partnerships to improve conditions. When it comes to the high cost of health care, there are many solutions not thought of. There are growing numbers of hospitals around the nation that are participating in community partnerships and recognizing how social determinants affect access to health care. They are receiving funds to support education, team travel, and other needs. Other organizations like the Public Health Network have resource networks that help citizens in different areas of healthcare. Communities can partner with these hospitals and other organizations that work to provide insurance for those lacking proper funds to provide referrals to services or to offer discounted services. The fifth essential service is to develop policy and plans. Policy and plans are developed to support individual and community health efforts. As a healthcare worker, your role in this step is to brainstorm either individually or collectively to come up with ways that develop and support individuals and their communities. For developing a policy around the access to health services, one plan that stands apart is regulating the price of health care in a way that is affordable for all members of a community. At the end of the day, no one chooses to fall ill. However, in order to implement a reasonable policy, the coverage of health care should be determined on an area's economic status as well as an individual's need. 
By making each healthcare plan personalized and evaluating individual accessibility, they can reach a larger community impact. The sixth essential service is to enforce laws and regulations. By enforcing laws and regulations, the safety of a community is ensured and their health is protected. When your zip code has the potential to be a better indicator of your health than your genetic code, laws and regulations are necessary to surpass such social determinants of health and give people the access to health services that they need to live long, healthy lives. The statistics in the table show, shown demonstrate Americans' attitudes towards the national health insurance, revealing a trend of increasing opposition today. Americans, communities, and individuals around the world are more and more dissatisfied with their available insurance because it is a determinant to receiving access to health services. We advocate for access to health services being supported by increased implication of laws and regulations that surpass such determinants. We advocate for community-focused installations of healthcare quality improvement acts that meet the needs of a particular population and its residents. The seventh service is linking individuals to services and assuring provisions of services. When health issues go unaddressed for long periods of time, patients' conditions often worsen and lead to more problems down the road. When the co high cost of healthcare is the barrier factor that your community is facing when it comes to access to healthcare, linking citizens to services that provide healthcare at reduced or free cost is essential. For example, a nonprofit organization called Ascension, through streamlining of their behind the scenes services like human resources and supply buying, is able to waive insurance deductibles and unpaid bills at all of its hospitals for patients earning less than 250% of the poverty level and provide some level of financial support to patients earning up to 400% of the poverty level. By referring citizens to these types of organizations, community officials can greatly improve the health of their community. The eighth essential service is to ensure a competent and public and personal healthcare workforce. When it comes time to evaluate patients from underrepresented areas, only the best of the best should be considered. If the goal is to improve a community, you can only be as strong as your weakest link. When it comes to addressing the high cost of healthcare, it would be wise to have a public health professional in that field to help address this problem in the community. It is ideal to have experts who specialize in health disparities come in and guide the teaching of healthcare workers before they reach out in assisting the community. Professionals specialized in health disparities could train doctors and other health providers about social norms and their biases. This in turn could prevent doctors in the community from misdiagnosing patients or recommending too many prescriptions or solutions that the individual cannot afford. The more equipped a trainer is, the better education the trainees will receive. This causes a ripple effect by bettering the opportunity for a community to receive the aid they need in their medical hardships. The ninth essential service is to evaluate the effectiveness, accessibility, and quality of individual and community-based health services. In this case, regarding access to affordable health care, we know steps that can be taken in order to keep those rates of those uninsured at a steady decline, as well as promote ways for access to become more practical. Communities can work to personalize healthcare coverage through evaluating a community's social determinants to better equip the access to healthcare a population receives. We can further follow up with these recommendations by applying them to a local population and evaluating their success. The 10th essential service is research. Researching and implementing solutions must follow the other nine critical public health services. The nonprofit organization, Ascension, mentioned through Essential Service Number 7, provides the affordable health care needed in countries like the U.S. Ascension researched new innovative activities and ways to reduce cost so that they could provide the health services in a way they believe they should have. Them and other alike programs or organizations educate others about the need for cost-effective aid and develop strategies with doctors and hospitals to advance an affordable and accessible health care. Utilizing the 10 essential public health services has proven to be a useful tool when addressing the high cost of health care and low rates of insured citizens. Each of the 10 services works together to provide a framework in protecting and promoting the health of all people in a community. For more information as to how we gathered our data for this video, please feel free to refer to this works cited page. Thank you for watching.